Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Juan Acuna. Hi everyone, welcome back and a very good Wednesday afternoon to you. Starting off with our sixth weather bug brought to you by First Community Bank. Mike Shakia showing a pretty dreary conditions all day long. Even some showers early off in the day as you saw there on our First Community Bank. And uh, we have a changing weather pattern and it's occurring right now as we speak. And look at temperature. I showed this earlier, but it's 48 up in Beeville. We're holding on to 60 degrees here in Corpus Christi, but 86 out in Falfuria. So again, you can really paint the line on where this frontal boundary is actually lying. Just making its way through the uh, Kingsville area, right about Heavenville as well, moving through Alice at 57. So if you have evening plans, we are watching a line of some showers forming out there, and we are expecting at least some light mist to drizzle to accompany us as we head through the evening with temperatures falling into the uh, middle to lower 50s on the way to the upper 40s into the overnight hours with north north easterly winds taking over around 7 to 14 miles an hour. So there's about where the front's located. Maybe a little bit farther to the south of us, but just right there north of Kingsville, we have some showers that are beginning to form and pretty moderate to heavy out there. We haven't seen anything severe, so that's certainly some good news. But out in Robstown going along 69, we have one lonely little shower out near Cal Allen, out near Banchetti as well, just to the west of Driscoll. That's headed in your direction as well and just to the north of Kingsville and west of Bishop right now. We have a pretty moderate storm that is uh, moving east at this moment along that frontal boundary. Earlier, we had some pretty strong storms that moved over Beeville, parts of Skidmore. That is moving up around Goliad into portions of Berkeley as well, as well north of Refurio at this point. But at this uh, time, this is all moving to the east away from that region as well. A big picture of the state of Texas shows it's been a big mess across the Lone Star State. They were dealing with lots of ice in northern sections of the state, right around Wichita Falls, around Abilene, just to the west of Dallas. And then that moved into Dallas, but they're still looking at plenty of heavy rainfall for those folks. And uh, temperature wise, it's uh, really something. They're at below freezing in Amarillo, 25 degrees in Ameline. So this uh, cold front definitely has a punch to it. And it's even 44 out in uh, San Antonio, 30 degrees in San Angelo. And if you notice our 24 hour temperature change, notice that the color contour has gone off the charts because 24 hours ago, this uh, temperature here has dropped 52 degrees uh, compared to just one day. That is incredible. We're only at minus 12 right now. I anticipate that number to continue to grow as we head into the overnight hours. So as we go, go ahead and take a look at what we're expecting later on tonight, we'll look for the uh, actual frontal boundary to move just offshore. And as it does so, it's going to continue to hold on cloud coverage for us here. This is at about 10 o'clock. The front's just along the coastline, and that's where it's going to stall and eventually push back up to the north. But that keeps cloud coverage in place. So going into tomorrow morning, we're talking about overcast skies, perhaps some light drizzle across the coastal bend as well. And then as we head throughout the afternoon, most of us will stay dry, especially inland, but right along the coastline, we can't roll out a stray shower. And then by Friday morning, another round of little storms come in with the disturbance and then mostly dry on Friday afternoon with the exception of just a stray shower. So we go to 48, 57 tomorrow, definitely chilly, 58, 77 warmer on Friday and as high as 83 on Saturday afternoon ahead of the next front. And that brings us another shot of cool weather, isolated showers, Lee, Priscilla, not looking like a whole lot of sunshine in the next seven days.